Hi, I'm Justin, um, and I'm going to show you a little bit about my uh, Burning Man art vehicle, the Funky Delta. Uh, I'm slowly charging it right now, so I'm going to be piecing it together and driving it around for a bit and uh, getting some feedback on it. So it doesn't look like much now. It's been in storage for a few months, um, and it's in pieces uh, due to the uh, transportation that I had to use uh, to get it here. It's powered by two hub motors, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, the hub motors use a 36 volt controller. You can see one controller here and another here. Um, and the 36 volt system requires three 12 volt batteries. I used uh, deep cycle marine batteries, uh, the smallest ones I could find with a decent amount of amp hours in them. Um, they're being charged now. Uh, if you look closely you can see that I have a lot more wires running through here than just the battery cables and the controller cables and that's because the Funky Delta was also designed to operate at night, so there's a, there's a whole lighting system involved as well. We ran the kill switch from each of the controllers out to a key switch hidden right here on the side of the frame. And uh, this let me sort of add an extra level of safety and precaution to the design uh, in case somebody decided to steal my art car while at Burning Man. The car is powered by two of the uh, most powerful bicycle hub motors that are made today. Um, these are crystal light motors provided by uh, a company called Electric Rider out of Kansas. Uh, they're originally designed for uh, bicycle retrofitting. Um, this particular motor is maximized for um, uh, high torque applications and low, high, and low speed which is ideal for the playa where there's a five mile an hour speed limit and uh, I knew that my final design since it was made mostly of this square steel stock was going to weigh a lot especially with a couple of passengers and whatever else we put in the car um, I never weighed the car I think it's probably close to four or five hundred pounds uh, when it's all put together um, and these motors do pretty well moving it around so I designed the Funky Delta to basically mimic the ride and feel of uh, a fishing dinghy that I had as a kid. Um, I wanted it to be totally quiet and uh, I wanted it to allow the passengers to face the driver while we were moving along just the same way uh, it was back when I was fishing as a kid and we would drift along a river or a lake and we could kind of just talk and uh, it was a nice relaxing feeling. So I decided to make it a rear steering vehicle. Uh, a single wheel would steer just like a rudder of a boat. Um, this is just a BMX wheel here and a BMX fork as well. Um, and the original design called for just a single swing arm to come off of here just the way an outboard motor would on a boat. And when I decided to to go over the top of the head of the driver to, to steer the car, uh, I ran into a problem here where um, a BMX fork uses a one and one eighth steer tube that you can see here, um, and the piping I was using was just one inch conduit. So uh, luckily, I was doing most of this project at a friend's house, and uh, he happened to have a, a lathe, and that's where we designed this piece here. Um, basically, it's just a one inch to one and one eighth inch adapter. It uses uh, Allen bolts to close it off, and this helped us solve the problem pretty quickly. Okay, we're back in the garage, giving the Funky Delta another bit of battery charge. Um, just wanted to give you a side view of the car um, and uh, kind of show you the total, the, the final form that it ended up taking. Um, again, this was supposed to mimic the, the ride quality and the feel of uh, a small fishing boat. And I, I believe I achieved that pretty well. Um, as you can see, the, the passengers and driver get to have sort of an intimate little space in here with a sun umbrella above them, or at least what becomes a sun umbrella. Um, this is just some sort of thin nylon material we picked up at Marshall's on the way out of town one day. and um, You can sort of arrange it however you want, depending on the wind and the sun and things like that out on the desert. Here's the front view. Uh, as you can tell, the, the driver doesn't have much of a, a view of where he's headed, and I really didn't feel like that was that important just because, you know, there's a speed limit of five miles an hour on the playa, 
and for the most part I'm not even going that fast so uh, it's not designed for you know performance obviously the shade structures here are just one inch steel conduit which we've bent into a pretty smooth circle um, me and one other person were able to bend these using uh, actually a fire pit so uh, that was a kind of an interesting process but it worked out pretty well as you can see the the bends are pretty uniform uh, it creates kind of a neat effect looking at it head on real quickly I'll drop the futon here and show you what it looks like when you're taking a nap and there you have it you have a, a little bed and a shaded area to take a nap out on the playa whenever you want uh, there's a little bit of a space underneath here for a small cooler, a couple of beers, or whatever you want to bring with you. Uh, I'll give you a shot from underneath. So the the whole the whole drivetrain and battery box are pretty much surrounded by these dust flaps that kept uh, the dust off the passengers. Um, just some plywood and some cross beams here. You can see the wiring that's run along the inside of the frame out of sight here. The captain's chair as you can see is, is uh, decorated with some fur and things like that. Um, and it's bolted to the to the plywood with some brackets right here so it's very sturdy. Okay I'm going to go over uh, the electrical system of the Funky Delta project and uh, one other very important piece of the, the project which is um, our mascot, uh, Pete. Pete was my uh, way of addressing the theme of Burning Man in 2009, the theme being uh, evolution. So Pete does a couple of neat tricks. Uh, the first one is this. Okay, so as you can see, that's kind of creepy. Um, and uh, Pete, Pete did freak some people out because, you know, he's a chirping cat skull. All right, Pete, let's, let's sing a song. So there you have it. That's that was Pete's talents there. Um, pretty disgusting, actually, in some regards. But you know, I'm not a PETA member, so the cat skull doesn't bother me. Um, Pete usually spent his day attached to the Funky Delta project, just like this, as my co-pilot, and um, he is photosensitive, uh, photosensitive. So that's why I have to keep this cork into the uh, the sensor uh, at the bottom here otherwise he'll keep singing forever um, so that was my way of addressing the theme of evolution so the other thing I wanted to show you was the the lighting switches which I installed into the captain's chair here these are just two basic electrical switches um, the lower one controls the uh, headlight the upper one controls the uh, cabin light and the the tail lights and other LEDs so just real quickly I'll show you those one more time these are our yellow uh, high powered LEDs on the top here blue strips on the sides very bright and then I actually wired up a 12 volt uh, cabinet halogen light for the headlight and I only use that sparingly because it, it eats a lot of battery power This is what the Funky Delta looks like at night. Um, you can see the yellow lights here kind of light up the interior pretty well and let you see what you're doing when you're riding inside the car. So I'll flip the headlight off just to give you an idea about the how much power is involved there. So that's the headlight. That's the rest of the lights here. So I think I've pretty much covered most of the, the details of my project. Um, I'll try to get another ride in tonight and uh, take some passengers with me. Thanks, Mike.